This is the formation of a precipitate lab which goes with lesson 20 in your friendly chemistry course. The purpose of this lab is to allow your students to witness that a chemical reaction has taken place due to the presence of a precipitate. Equipment you'll need for this lab includes a clear container with about one cup of water, then you'll need some Epsom salt. The chemical formula now for Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate. Epsom salt can be found at most grocery stores or drug stores. And then you'll need some ammonia. Okay? Ammonia can be is a, a used for uh, cleaning and therefore can be found at most grocery stores. In this lab we're going to mix a solution of Epsom salt and water with the ammonia. So first what your students will need to do is transfer about two teaspoons of Epsom salt to their water. Before they uh, transfer it, it's good to have them make observations of it. They'll see that the Epsom salt is a white crystalline powder and has uh, hardly any odor. So they'll take two teaspoons of the Epsom salt, transfer it into the water, and they'll need to stir it until all the Epsom salt uh, crystals have dissolved. Okay, uh, The idea is to have a clear liquid once again after the Epsom salt has been added to the water. Okay, The next step will involve adding the ammonia to the Epsom salt. Your students will want to take approximately no more than a fourth of a cup of the ammonia and add to the Epsom salt. Now note that the ammonia does have a strong odor. Uh, some students may be sensitive to that. It does uh, tend to open up one's uh, nasal passages and so just be aware of that uh, may happen. Okay, So no more than a fourth of a cup of ammonia they'll add to the water and uh, Epsom salt solution. Now once they add that You'll not want to stir it any longer, but just let it set. After about five minutes, uh, your student should, uh, should start to see some cloudiness to the water, and that's the indication that the uh, chemical reaction is taking place. Again, uh, you don't want to disturb it, and then if you come back an hour or two later, or even let it set overnight, and, and you may put a lid on top of it, you'll find that that cloudiness, uh, that new compound that formed in the solution, which is actually magnesium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, well, those uh, little chunks that were once floating around, which made it cloudy, have now settled out. They have fallen out of solution, and that is the precipitate. In other words, a solid has now formed uh, that is not soluble any longer in the water and uh, has fallen out of solution and uh, theoretically you can take and pour off the water and then evaporate uh, any remaining water and just have a powdery substance again which is now magnesium hydroxide. So this is the formation of a precipitate lab which goes with lesson 20 in your friendly chemistry course uh, the formation of a precipitate is evidence that a chemical change has taken place.